All right. <laughs> so it's time for a review. What did you learn? Seriously, what did you learn? <laughs> Pause the video and just stop and think about it for a second. Like, what did I learn? I've just watched a bunch of videos. I've done some hands-on exercises. Maybe get a pen and a piece of paper and try to recollect everything you've learned. It's, it's hard. <laughs> it's challenging. I do this exercise with my students in the classroom sometimes. At the beginning of the semester, I'll say, okay, I want everybody to meet each other. So turn to the person on your left and uh, just say hello and get their name and nice to meet you. And now do the same thing with the person on the other side. And if you're sitting next to the wall, turn around and introduce yourself to somebody. And then they do that. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Now I want to find out like a little general knowledge about where you're at with this subject matter before we begin. So get out a pen and piece of paper. We're going to have a little bit of a quiz. It won't count towards your grade, but get that pen and piece of paper out. And then they get it out. I'm like, okay, here's the quiz. You ready? Write down the two names of the two people you just met. <laughs> and people are like, oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm like, don't ask them. And, uh, and it's totally cool because it's challenging. The mind is like Teflon for things. And to break through that Teflon so it's not things aren't just sliding off and to get something to stick requires conscious effort and focus. And so take that effort right now, pause the video, and write down what you just learned to the best of your effort. Okay, this is what I just learned. All right, font family, you know, font, all that stuff, right? The font shorthand property, write down as much as you can learn. All right, now, now I'm assuming you've paused the video or you're just continuing to watch. But here, I've put together a list of all the things, like the main highlights of what we've learned. So this is going to help you. So the first one is uh, we learned about formatting text, just generally speaking, the high level overview. That's kind of what this section this That's what this section was about. And we learned the difference between serif and sans serif fonts. And sans means without. So serif, they have those little feet. Sans serif, no feet, just peg legs. We learned how to use Google Fonts, which is an incredible resource. As part of that, we learned a little bit about performance and using developer tools right? And the network tab to kind of see like what is the weight of what we're sending down, how many kilobytes. We've learned that the average page is 2,400 kilobytes, which is roughly equivalent to 2.4 megabytes, right? Whoa, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> so uh, that's another cool thing we learned. We learned if we're going to strike text, don't use S. That's an old element. Don't use it. Don't use Dell. It just kind of doesn't make sense. If you're going to delete something, then delete it. <laughs> if you're going to show that this is deprecated and you're no longer using it, just use text decoration line through. We learned about font sizes, and we also learned about the length, CSS data type, and we learned just to use rim, and that's relative to the root, and an M is the default font size for the browser. So it's an M, which is relative to the root. You learn the origins of M, where the phrase EM came from, or whatever that acronym measurement, unit measurement is. We learned VW, and, uh, and that's viewport width, and that's going to be useful in some situations. And we also learned that, hey, when you're at Can I Use, like, read it. <laughs> Don't just look at the number and say, ah, oh, 84%, we can't use it. Look at, like, why is that one only partial support? Well, because it doesn't support VMAX or whatever the heck it was. So, great, we aren't using it anyhow. We could use VW. That's cool. And uh, pics is what we've used as our unit of measurement pretty much up through this course. And we're going to learn more about pixels when we go in and study the viewport and what that deal is. Uh, so we learned about the length CSS data type and the color CSS data type. And we learned a little bit about colors and hexadecimal colors and RGB colors and RGBA colors and played around with those. We learned what shorthand properties are. And we learned about fallback settings like with font family. We learned the words letting and kerning. kerning. So letting is for lines, kerning is for between characters, a space between letters, letter spacing. We learned two new HTML tags, del and s and that we're probably never going to use them. Uh, but hey, now we know about them. We know not to use them. And we also learned a whole bunch of new CSS properties. So we learned the font shorthand property, which is a shorthand for font family, font size, font weight, font variant, line height, and font style. 
right? So all of those, six of them. And, uh, and with font family, we learned there's specific family names and generic family names like serif and sans serif. And for font size, we learned that used to use the rims and VWs. So maybe I should just highlight those, get everything else out of there. <laughs> we had that up above. For uh, font weight, we learned that the numbers, you know, are whatever, you know, different weights you could set. Font variant, small caps, text transform, uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, line height. We saw how you could center with line height. Font style for italic, letter spacing, word spacing, text align, horizontal alignment, text shadow, X offset, Y offset, diffusion offset, the diffusion setting, and then the color is how you do text shadow. Text decoration, so whether we want to strike through or line under or line over. And we saw how we could use that in the anchor tag to be nothing unless you hover over it, then the line appears with the hover pseudo class. Pretty cool. Text and dense, max width, min width. So we've learned a lot of great stuff. And the review is good not only to help you reinforce what you've learned, but also to serve as a pat on the back for yourself. Because when you stop and you review it, and you get that high-level overview, it's like, well, damn, <laughs> we did kind of learn a lot. So that's the purpose of the review, to reinforce it and then also to give you a way to go. Thumbs up, pat on the back. I'm liking that on Facebook or whatever on Twitter. I'm giving that like a heart on Twitter. That's what they have on Twitter. So good job. Good on you, as the Australians would say. Maybe you are Australian. Maybe that's not what you all say, <laughs> but that's what I've heard. Good on you. Maybe that's like from 20 years ago when I met an Australian in Indonesia. But anyhow, good job and keep going. You're getting there. Stick with that grit. Stay focused. Look at me, baby. Look at me. I get a little loopy at night. It's 1.52 a.m. And I start doing different voices. It's weird because I just get a little nutty. 1.52 a.m., baby. I'm going. I'm still going. I'm doing what I could do for my family. <laughs> I'm doing it, baby. You're doing it, baby. Let's keep doing it. <laughs> We're getting there. All right. It's good times. Hey, I'm having fun. I like being a little sleep deprived deprived because in a way it's like, I don't know, I get, I enjoy it. It's kind of fun. So uh, let's get going on the next stuff, man. Let's see how late this rolls. I should probably turn in soon, but maybe I'll keep going. You'll find out in the next video.